Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And first, let me tell you that the winner of last week's viewer's favorite question was Reconnect from Claudia Blanton. Congratulations, Claudia. And now we're ready to start a new week of vlog questions, and our first comes to us from Ravenwolf. And Ravenwolf has this question. Are there preferred materials from which to make one's magic wand? And my answer to this, as with many things in life, is both yes and no. When people come from a particular tradition, sometimes there are specific requirements for the kind of wand that people in that tradition commonly use. However, in the wider community and many other traditions, there are no requirements, and it's a matter of what appeals to the practitioner. And wands have been in use throughout recorded history. You see them already in ancient Egypt and other parts of the ancient world. And historically, they're most commonly made either from wood or from metal. And in the modern world, this is still the case. And today, you will see wands very commonly made out of either wood or metal, but also out of crystal, which is a more modern phenomenon. And probably the most popular wands at the moment are made from wood, but you'll also see, for example, the famous willow root magic wands are commonly made of metal with a crystal tip. And during the years that I have been practicing, I've seen a number of different trends in wands come and go. And so fashion also plays a part in what people choose to make their wands from. When I first started studying back in the 70s and throughout the 80s, it was very common for wands to include a copper component in the belief that copper helped to conduct energy. And so you would see wands even that were made out of wood, but they would have a copper wire that would either snake through the center or be wrapped around the outside, believing that this would help the flow of the energy. It became popular for a while to see wands that were made from copper tubing, and they commonly had a crystal at either end and often were filled with crystal chips in the center. And there was also a fad for quite a while for wands that were made completely from crystal, sometimes just a single crystal used as a wand, other times beautiful artistic constructions involving many crystals. So there have been many different trends in wand making, but generally speaking, unless you come from a background that specifies what they would like you to use, then you are pretty much free to choose what works well for you. And of course, in the end, this is not really a requirement at all. All of the magical tools, all the magical trappings, are just to help you to focus the energy that you're really focusing from within. So whether you use a wand or not at all is completely up to you. But if you're going to, then you want to use one that will act as a key to your higher self and help you direct that energy. And while it is certainly true, that certain substances are more conducive to conducting energy than others, it's also largely a matter of what puts you into a magical mindset to help you raise and focus the energy yourself. So, are there preferred materials for making your wand? Well, for some people the answer is yes, but generally speaking, most people will tell you to use what seems right to you and what most helps you to make your magical connection and focus your energy. So those would be my thoughts on the subject. I hope you find them helpful, and until next time, may you blessed be. Reverend Don, Super Omnibus of Incantations and Invocations for All Occasions. Marianne Kay and I created this massive compendium of magic and artwork for you to use in any way that you would like. There are literally hundreds of spells and hundreds of illustrations, which can be mixed and matched and used in many different ways. Check it out now at witchgoolstore.com. Pray for peace. Pray for love. Pray for stability. Pray for the nation where you live. Pray for the world.